The tunnels is a really fun activity at the Deanfield Outdoor Centre and this film tells you how to enjoy it safely and suggests some activity ideas and challenges you can try. Start with all the hatches open except the one by the ball pit sump and the shed over the top of it. These should remain closed until later when using them. Don't climb through the hatch openings in the junction chambers. These are just opens to provide daylight. The metal staple or a fall could cause injury. If it is raining, put the Perspex covers over the hatch openings to keep water out. If yours is the last activity session of the day, make sure all the lids are down at the ends. There are a variety of different sized tunnels, ranging from 90 cm diameter down to 45 cm. A large adult can get through all of them, but your adult leader is likely to remain above ground to supervise from there. Most activities start from the main shed, which has four tunnels coming out of it. There are also another two exits from the tunnel system, one that slides down onto the lawn and one that comes out of the ball pit. A good warm-up activity is to do big loop. As you go in the main shed, take the first tunnel on the right and then keep turning to the right until you come back into the shed. This is a 75 cm diameter pipe and there are no big drops into chambers. A next group challenge could be to do jammed. For this, everyone in the group can get together in the first chamber of the big loop. This can be followed by name order, where you have to come back into the shed in alphabetical order. Now that you've started to get used to the tunnels, it's time to explore a little bit further and do an activity we call orientation. For this, you will be exploring any of the tunnels other than the one that goes into the ball pit sump. This should still be dark because the hatch and the shed door should be closed. For orientation, some people want to go and find the slide down onto the lawn. To get to this, you must first go through at least one small tunnel. The three small tunnels, which are 45 centimetres in diameter, have drops of up to 75 centimetres into the chambers. Most people choose to go head first, carefully. The first person through will have to be quite athletic and do a press-up style hand walk until they can drop their legs down. They can then help the next person out by holding them under their arms. It's also good to have someone to help you into the small tunnels by lifting your legs and posting you in the right direction. Having had an explorer around for five or so minutes, it's now time to get everyone back together to try some more group challenges. The best way to do this is for your group leader to shout down through the hatches and the tunnels, everyone back to the benches, pass it on. It echoes along the tunnels, so pass the message along and come back up to the benches as quick as you can. There are a couple of challenges you can try with everyone spread out along the big loop. One is Chinese whispers. Once you're all in the tunnels, your leader can send a message in one tunnel and it is whispered from person to person until the message comes back out to your leader at the other end. When you do your explore of the tunnels, bring back anything you find. There should be a couple of soft play cylinders and a large ball. You can then have a go at an activity called rollerball, where you have to roll or slide the objects around the big loop tunnels as fast as you can to get them back to the shed. You can even send one clockwise and one anti-clockwise. Once you've got used to being underground, a really exciting challenge is to try big loop blackout with the hatch lids down. Because it's pitch black in there and light can't get round corners, you're going to have to use the fire service's technique of feeling the way by moving your arms in front of you to find your way round. Remember, keep going round to your right and you should get back to the start, but look after one another and help each other get through. Only attempt this challenge if you're feeling brave enough and can help the other people in your group. One last thing, never put the lids down in the small tunnels. This is because of the big drop down into the chambers. Make sure you leave enough time for this next challenge as it's one of the most fun, the ball pit sump. First, a couple of important things. Clip back the shed door and open the hatch of the small chamber. Wipe your feet on the mat in the shed. Make sure there's nothing to get lost from your pockets. It's easy to lose things. If you wear glasses, take them off. Make sure your trainers are laced up tightly as these are particularly hard to find if they come off and float around lost in 10,000 soft play balls. As you look down the tunnel, you will see an air gap into the chamber beyond. As your body goes into the balls, it pushes them up to fill the gap to the roof of the tunnel. 
You will need to swim and dive through the balls and be careful not to bump your head on the lip of the tunnel. Important! Only one person is allowed in the ball pit at a time. As soon as you are through into the ball chamber, climb up the ladder and when your leader sees your head emerge, they can send the next person through. You may want to go back round for a second go. The ball pit sump is a good activity to finish on, but if you have any extra time, you could do hide and seek sardine style. Your leader picks one person to hide who can hide anywhere other than the ball pit sump. Everyone else has to find them and then stay together. Try not to be the last person to find where everyone else is. This can also be played with just one hatch down for a chamber in the big loop, making that one a little bit dark. During the session, remind each other of any of the safety rules I have explained in this film. They're also written on a board just by the benches. One thing to do is to move carefully and slowly in the tunnels so you don't hurt yourself or other people. Have a great time in the tunnels and listen carefully to any further instructions from your leader.